Welcome back to Keys to the House. I'm your host this week, Diane Weber. This podcast is your behind the scenes look at the good, the bad, and the ugly of home buying, selling, and building. We're here to provide you an unfiltered view for anyone that's looking to buy a home, build a home, sell a home, or just gain more knowledge on real estate in general. On today's episode, we're joined by Rick Grubb. Hi, Rick. Hi, Diane. How are you? I'm good. Um, for those of you out there that don't know Rick, he is a real estate agent here at Jerry's Homes and Realty One Group Impact. Rick, tell us a little bit about your background in real estate. So yeah, I started selling six, seven years ago. Uh, started on kind of some condo townhomes, uh, which was a great kind of entry level product that Jerry sat over in Silver Oak. Uh, and have slowly kind of progressed from there, got my feet wet and, and kind of understood the process uh, at a smaller level and, and have slowly grown from there. Okay. So explain to everybody out there, what does it mean to have low inventory in the real estate market? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a horrible question? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, to have low inventory means we got low inventory. There's nothing to buy. Um, it is one there, uh, you know, uh, as we saw the pandemic hit and then all of a sudden they lowered the interest rate, it was one, there was just an, an onslaught of all of the pent up demand. Finally, the floodgates opened uh, when you saw an interest rate at kind of 2.875, 2.5, 2.3, depending on kind of where you sat. Uh, it, it was the sign everyone had been waiting for that kind of through 2006 to 2011 that they were pent up, ready to pull the trigger, uh, that that was the the answer you'd been looking for. And so everything that was out there, I mean, if you had finished inventory on the new construction side, it was picked up. And then even now we're seeing more and more where people are coming in and wanting to purchase the kind of mid-construction home um, just to get that interest rate locked in because it is such a significant difference between, you know, a, a two, five to two, eight to three, one to three, two. Okay. So how does that impact you as a real estate agent? How is your day or your day to day? You know, it's one, it's, it's constant. You have to act uh, immediately and not to say that we didn't before, but it's one, I mean, if you get, uh, a, a listing, um, you know, it's getting serious demand right away. And it's one that people want to go see and you kind of do have to drop everything and get over there to take a look at it. Um, be it a resale, especially, uh, it is one that you're going to have to get over there. And typically when you pull up, there's three other cars out front and there's going to be three cars behind you. Uh, and it's going to be a, a multiple offer situation if the home is priced right and, and is updated accordingly, you know, uh, and, and it was ready to go on the market. As far as new construction goes, mm -hmm. um, it's one where uh, you're seeing the calls are coming in and a lot of people right now, unfortunately, there's no finished product. So the main thing we're trying to do is find homes that we can at least go look at. So it's nice, you know, with Jerry's, we have a large inventory across town of maybe it's not a for sale home, but it is one that somebody's building, be it in uh, West Des Moines or Ankeny or Altoona, where we can go, we can look at the home, have an understanding of what finishes are going to be in it, the layout, and then talk more, come back and look at like the lot uh, of the plan that they want to build. Um, so it's one you're you're constantly trying to find what they want to be able to show them because it's tough. It's you know no one wants to buy a house by looking at a sheet of paper. What are buyers really looking for, they, especially when it comes to new construction? Are they looking for ranch homes? Do they want big lots? You know it depends on the area that people are in. Obviously, the lot is going to be the biggest piece. People are always looking for land. Mm -hmm. I mean that's a great part of having a house. I guess there are <laughs> a small sect of people that don't want the big yard because they don't want to mow it. They don't want to maintain it, but. Uh, the majority seem to want, you know, the larger yard, uh, room for uh, pets, things like that, kids. Um, in Waukee that I see, so I've been mm -hmm. listing agent in a development called Kettlestone Ridge, which is just in between Grand Prairie and LA Grant, Nashworth and Westtown Parkway in Great Waukee area. there. Mm -hmm. um, and what I see is a lot of kind of uh, 
younger families coming to Waukee or staying in Waukee for that school system in Waukee. And the majority are loving our Bentley plan, which is a two-story plan, 2,100 square feet, four bed, three bath. Uh, it it kind of checks all the boxes. It's got a great living space. Um, and, and so I'm seeing a lot of the two-story uh, is, is really hot right now. And then I'm seeing uh, some of the downsizers really loving our kind of two bed, two bath ranch plans. Uh, they hit a great price point. The square footage is great. The layouts are fantastic. We do nine foot ceilings. Uh, so it, it kind of varies from area to area. You may find something different in kind of a West Des Moines or Altoona, mm-hmm. uh, but in Waukee, I'm seeing a lot of the two story because I think a lot of people uh, with the younger families like that two story layout. Okay, so speaking of Kettlestone Ridge, you recently built a home, didn't you? I did, yes. And which Jerry's homes did you build? So I went with an Allendale um, and have absolutely loved it. It's it's a tremendous plan, uh, great layout, great feel, lots of square mm-hmm. footage on just, well, not lots of square footage, but more the, the square footage is used fantastically. It lays out really nice. Um, you got large windows in the great room that make it feel very open and airy. Uh, is that why you chose that floor plan? It is. Yeah. So out of all the Jerry's ranch plans, I would say, or really all the plans, my personal favorite is definitely going to be the Allendale. Yeah. Uh, just the flow of everything is, is fantastic. It has the master separated from the two other bedrooms. Mm -hmm. The basement lays out really nice if you do end up finishing it with a potential for two more bedrooms down there, a nice sized rec room, tons of storage. Um, it, so the high ceilings, it's it's kind of the, the total package. So when's the house it. party? So when's the house party? Uh, we could do this weekend. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Um, Soon, no, I've, I've been inside as your house. Weather, it's beautiful. As the weather gets better. Um, yeah. yeah. So inside your house, Rick, I've been in it and it is absolutely gorgeous. Great selections, great style. Um, tell me what made you decide to go with that, that type of design uh, and that I type of style. I wish I could take any credit for it. Uh, um, uh, that would all have to go to my fiance, Amanda. Uh, she did all the selections, the design, worked with the team at Jerry's, uh, and then a lot of the third-party vendors like uh, uh, CKF, Ferguson Lighting, Factory Direct, uh, Gilcrest Jewett. So uh, she would be more the authority to give you the insight to what went on in that house because she did a tremendous job and really did uh, gave a lot of thought to each individual selection that she made. So Amanda... Definitely wears the pants in that family. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Just I'm a shorts sure. guy. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thanks, Rick, for coming on today and letting us uh, talk about your home and your real estate experience and what's going on in the market. Um, yeah, it's almost Friday. Me. Yeah. Let's go watch the Masters. Ooh, yeah. I see you've got your green shirt on today. I do. Yes. It'll be like warm it. in the next four days. It'll be very smelly by the end of this. Thanks for joining us today for Keys to the House. If you have any other questions, comments, or topics that you'd like to learn more about, shoot us a message at info at jerryshomes.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, everyone.